Hi, it's me again with Corel Roll Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this photograph of a gun grip and wanted to, and I, I made a diamond pattern. I didn't make it as uh, little as this, but you can adjust that. And the, I, the whole idea of the video is, is how to make the pattern and how to make it look like this, where it doesn't engrave on that. So I made a diamond pattern. It's really pretty easy. There's a couple ways you can do it. Uh, you can do it with math. I'm going to use the polygon tool on four sides, and I'm going to make a diamond. At this type time, with my ratio locked, I'm going to make the diamond pattern 2.5 by one inch. With I meant to say with my ratio unlocked, so now it's 2.5 by one inch, and that's going to help us do it with math. Because math, because when you do the 3D pattern, sometimes it's a little bit difficult to um, let it snap to object. We're going to make it black and just make it something thicker than a hairline. Then we're going to go to effects and contour. We're going to contour to the center with 0 0.001 and then make sure your outline and your fill is white. And we're going to just hit apply and look at that. There's our diamond shape. Now to do it, you could, you could hit the plus key in your keyboard and grab that and have it snap to that node. Or we know that this thing is 2.5 inches large. We could make our nudge 2.5, control D and make a duplicate, and then control D, control D as many times as you want. You would make, you would want to make a lot of them because we're going to have to make them smaller. So at this time, we're going to control G to group them together. Now we've already got our nudge factor set on 2.5, but if you remember, it's one inch tall. So we, now let's try setting our nudge factor on 0.5. And we're gonna control D and make a duplicate and move it down. And then if you remember, it's 2.5 inches long, so we need to make our nudge 1.25. So then we can nudge this over half that distance and it does that. So you could continue doing that R, and this is what I meant, if you control D and try to grab this X, your deal is kind of, uh, Corel's made it kind of like invisible, but if you just kind of have it snap to and then control D again, and control D, and control D, and control D. Now you'd want to make it quite a bit bigger, but here's kind of the whole key of a 3D engraving, is go to bitmap and convert it to a bitmap, at least a, re a resolution of 300 and grayscale. When you engrave in 3D, for some reason, the bitmap effect kind of takes the, I'm going to call it the edge off. It's going to fuzzy it up a little bit and not make it so precise. In On my old laptop, it's, it's taken some time to convert it to a bitmap, but it's done, and you can see it's all in one size, and it's all in one uh, group. And if this, what I meant, if you make it uh, smaller, then then your diamonds are smaller. So if you make it, make more of the diamonds before you start, then you can reduce it, or you can actually start off on little diamonds. So this is part one. I'm going to show you how to create this shape in part two. Hope that helped. Thank you for watching.